everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my updated 2018 plant tour. And I'm going to be doing just the shelf located inside of my home. I'll do the rest of my plant tour home edition in a separate video. And I chose to do it this way because this particular shelf that I do have now housing all of my plants next to my kitchen area is now bigger with more shelf space. So I wanted to go ahead and just dedicate the video strictly to this shelf. If you guys enjoy this type of video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in wondering what my shelf looked like for 2017, you can go ahead and look at my previous plant tour collection videos that I posted up last year. So the shelf that I got here is really tall and big and there's a lot of plant real estate now compared to my previous shelf which I still have um, but I wanted to go ahead and give myself a bigger shelf with more space because my plant collection grows by the week now I got this particular shelf thrifted and if you guys watch my channel you know that I love thrifting for a lot of different pieces in my home including uh, decor pieces as well as planters and I think that's a really cool thing to do if you are living on your own and wanting to find things for a really good deal you can always find things in your local thrift shop or online apps i got this one on an online app and it was actually maybe two miles away and i got the shelf for twenty dollars which i think is a really good deal it is an ikea shelf now i know the original ikea shelf that i do want has glass and actually my best friend kira in las vegas has two of them um, but because i do live in a studio and if you guys watch my home plant tour edition then you know i don't have a lot of space or a lot of natural lighting so most of my natural lighting is right here and i have one big window here to my left and that's pretty much it right now it's currently a little after 5 p.m and as you can see the sun is already like not really that great here in my home so i'm going to do my best to share with you all of the plants that i have on each level i will start from the so on the top shelf here as you can see we are almost by the ceiling i am standing on the ladder to film this section here i have three plants and as you can see i did keep the cobalt blue and white aesthetic for this shelf and i absolutely love the idea of how everything just works well together here so i have three plants on the top shelf and these are the really tall ones and then especially like my trailing plants i love having them on the top so i have my two asparagus ferns here as well as my heart leaf philodendron which has a nice trail here and i just love the jungle vibes that it brings to the top part of the shelf and then if you take a look here on the second shelf, I have a peperomia, um, actually two peperomias. And I just love the fact that I have my Japanese owl here um, right in the center. And this is thrifted. All of my planters here are from home goods, except my peperomia in this one here. This is um, a planter that I got from Orchards, which I do talk about um, in previous tours. Um, it is so hot here in the 90s in Los Angeles, so I'm sorry if I'm sweating here in the video. I'm going to try my best to be able to share with you guys what each shelf looks like. So this is the top two shelves, and I really love the aesthetic of these two shelves. Um, but as you notice, a lot of my plants here have that big trailing effect to it on the top shelf. And then my second shelf is a little bit more hardier with my pepper. Go and bring this sky down so you can take a look at its trailing effects this one is living on my top shelf and all of this is new growth i got this like a really small plant from star nursery in las vegas and since then this has trailed on me my grandma says this is a rubbish plant um, because this does grow wild in hawaii but a lot of plants do grow wild in hawaii which are in my collection and potted up in a nice planter um, these do have thorns so i'm very careful when i'm handling this plant uh, but I love the trailing effect of this plant and I have the planter that my grandma gave me and I think it works really well. It gives that Asian vibe to it and I just love seeing this on the Here's top. Here's the other asparagus fern that is living next to my other fern on the top shelf here and as you can see it has that really bonsai type of effect. If you look here it has like a canopy vibe to it. And I absolutely love this plant. It'd be like really nice on a coffee table just as a solo plant by itself. Uh, but it really gives me that Zen vibe. And I have it paired in a planter that I believe I got from Home Goods in Las Vegas. And I just love the vibe that it gives to the top shelf. So this is all new growth for me here on the top. It was originally probably this small. Um, like my other asparagus fern when I first got it and I think I got this from Star Nursery. This is the new planter that I put my heart leaf philodendron in. This was originally living in my bathroom and then it was living outside in my patio for a while and it trails 
a lot here so it does live on my top shelf and i love the fact that it's doing really good here there's lots of new growth here and i love the jungle vibes that it does give to the plant shelf i've been wanting to have this guy back in my home um, but it got so long that i had to put it outside in my patio but now with this big shelf in my home i can go ahead and display this guy on my top shelf and i just love walking past it to my bathroom with its green jungle here is an up close view of my peperomia living from the second shelf from the top and this has actually grown a lot on me i got this i believe at home depot in las vegas for maybe two dollars and i love peperomias because for the most part most of the varieties are really easy and um, easy growers and on the hardier side so it has like that waxy type of foliages and I just love being able to see this grow on me I've had this plant for over a year now and I believe I got this planter from TJ Maxx in Las Vegas um, but definitely an easy plant to have I highly suggest this peperomia and it's actually living next to my other peperomia on my shelf here um, but again all of my plants do rotate on the shelf and inside of my home so this is just the current plants currently living on my and shelf and then here is the other peperomia living on the second shelf so this particular guy has little blooms here as you can see has that rat tail bloom and these ones are a little bit more trickier to grow the turnover rate of the leaves are pretty crazy uh, they do come and go um, so I really don't suggest this particular peperomia. I do have a bunch of variety of them and I love seeing them in my collection, but very finicky. So I don't really recommend this plant if you're new um, and starting out your plant collection. Um, but it's here in my collection and on my shelf currently. And I've had this plant for over a year now. And I think it looks really great in the planter that I got from Orchards right up the street here in west los angeles so now we're on the third shelf here so this is me not standing on the ladder and standing on the ground so this is what i do see eye level here i have my beautiful brazilian philodendron in a cobalt blue planter as well as my beautiful hoya and i'm actually going to bring this guy out so you can consider this a plant update when i originally got this plant um, it was actually this short right here i did an unboxing on my channel and it wasn't even probably it was like this tall guys when i first got it so all of this is new trails since i've had it for over a year and i love placing it over my owl's head which is a thrifted owl that i got literally up the street from my place here in santa monica at a thrift so shop. this is definitely one of my favorite plants that i do have on my shelf currently so this is my brazilian philodendron i've shared this plant numerous times on my channel uh, with the come with me's as well as hauls and planting with julian and it is doing really great as you can see there's tons of new growth here very fun um philodendron to have in a collection if you can get this one this is a very easy grower um, tons of different trails and i just love the fact that it just has that variegated effect to it um, but definitely easy grower you can see all of the new blooms here um, and i just love pairing philodendrons in that cobalt blue planter color and i think it looks really great in this particular one which i got i believe from home goods and i think it looks super cute next to my white owl and this is what i see on eye level on my shelf when i walk so the three plants here in the next section is probably one of my few favorites that i love being able to have them styled on my shelf probably say that all the time but i think they absolutely look great on this particular shelf and the aesthetic of the plant works well as you can see heavy behind me here so i have the white planters uh, which are from daiso japan with really inexpensive and i think they're absolutely adorable and then i have the cobalt blue planter which i believe i got from home goods i think i think i got this one from home goods in las vegas so i'm gonna go ahead and bring them up one at a time here so and uh, this guy right here is my biggest fishtail um fern here and i absolutely love this fern and i have a really big one in my collection that is not a fishtail version um, but when i seen this one for the first time if you watch my come with me videos i was really surprised to see that they had a fishtail version of this plant so this particular one i got from pasadena at a nursery and then if you take a look here you can see the design of the planter um, this is a very easy uh, plant to take care of if you are in a tropical weather ferns love tropical type of environments i do miss this plant twice a week 
um, but I think I got this for seven dollars and it has grown probably double the size since I've gotten it a couple of months a little update on my neon pothos and I love this plant because of the bright neon green foliages and it's pretty much like nothing I have in my collection I don't have anything this bright and I think it works well with the cobalt blue planter for me it is a slow grower it kind of looks like the same when I first purchased it a couple of months back um, but I believe I got this plant for free at my favorite nursery here in Los Angeles and I'm kind of interested to see how long it's going to take to grow on me um, but for the most part I haven't seen much change in this plant I will give you guys an update at the end of the year or even next year to see uh, when it starts giving me more foliages and maybe a trail would be nice uh, but definitely very fun to have in your collection if you can get a neon potos I highly recommend All the way on the other end of this shelf I have my beautiful pothos and joy so it's another pothos this one is a very slow grower compared to my bigger version of it and this was my first pothos pothos and joy and i have it paired in this daiso japan planter um, but i do have a really big one hanging outside on my plant hanging section and i knew that i had this plant in my collection this little guy but when i seen the bigger one i wanted to go ahead and get it because it was such an amazing deal uh, but this one has been a slow grower but if you can see right here there is some new growth coming through uh, but definitely really fun to have that variegation um, in a plant collection especially paired on a white planter what do you guys think let me know if you guys have this plant and if you do is it a slow grower with you uh, because this particular little guy here has been really slow growing we are coming down to the last two shelves here so now i am kneeling down so the second to the last shelf i do have my beautiful japanese thrifted owl as well as another peperomia and then i do have one of my dracaenas here so this has some variegation on it and i absolutely love it i bought it the same time as my other peperomia like this on the top shelf i have it paired in the daiso japan planter and this one is a little bit more slow growing i'm not sure if it's because it's variegated um, but i love that waxy foliages to it there is a lot of new growth here but i definitely love the hardy waxy leaves and it's just a very fun plant to have i think i love any type of foliages that are round and waxy and then here i have my beautiful dracaena and it has like that lime vibe to it I'm not too sure this one might be called lime um, but a very easy house plant to take care of it's a very slow grower with me, uh, but I love having the variegated leaves here. And I got this planter from TJ Maxx here in Santa Monica, and I absolutely love the vibe. And you know what? I have it on the bottom shelf here. It does get not a natural lighting here um, throughout the day, um, but these are not really finicky plants, so I don't mind having them on the bottom shelves. But like I always say, every time I do leave for Las Vegas, my whole plant collection goes outside in the patio to get sun. So this is the angle that we're going to get for the last shelf here. So I have my Peperomia here, which has been struggling, uh, but it did get sunburned in Las Vegas over a year ago. I actually have this same variation, but smaller foliages in my Las Vegas plant collection. Um, but I do have it here in a thrifted planter that I got in San Francisco a while back in my previous collection and it just kind of hangs out down here i have one of my little travel souvenirs i got that little shoe here from amsterdam i just love the cobalt blue and white aesthetic to it and then down here i have my last dragon tree my dracaena here and it has like that white variegation to it and also another slow grower paired with the same type of aesthetic type of planter that i got from my local tj maxx here in las vegas and that is going to wrap up all of the plant babies currently living on my plant shelf i'm gonna wrap up the video here it is almost 5 30 p.m and i am going to be heading to my next studio that i am going to be teaching pilates at here in santa monica so i am filming between both of my jobs and like i always say i get up at 4 30 in the morning for work here so it's so hard for me to find energy to film content between my work day um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this up for you guys even if I'm really hot and sweaty here in my home um, but I know I've been telling you guys I will be doing updates on my plant tours but I wanted to go ahead and just designate this particular video just for the shelf I'll go ahead and do a separate video of the rest of my plant collection in my home and another separate video of my plant collection 
currently living in my bathroom because I think I think each unique spot in my home needs its own specific little video because I just love each of the little corners that I do have in my space but I hope you guys enjoyed this updated 2018 plat shelfie and don't be afraid to use different things if you can't get anything new. It's fine. My plant shelf that is now living here in this section, um, which is new, is thrifted. And I picked it up for $20 and I think it was a really amazing deal. And my old shelfie is now living next to my door section here. That's just housing a lot of my memorabilia and no plants. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant in this plant tour plant shelf edition in my home and you will find more videos coming up so definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification because with my schedule you never know when I'm going to upload a video and I like to get out new content for you guys on a weekly basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. You can find more on my blog at lofjulian.blogspot.com and definitely let me know what was your favorite plant in this plant tour. I'll see you guys later. Aloha. Bye.